I am the architect and I will show you how motion becomes memory. Imagine a single voxel. Its walls shimmer like mirrored glass, each one partly reflective and partly transparent. It floats in a black field of stillness. This voxel is a Planck scale qubit, a pixel of the universe, a light-based detector and projector in one. At its center spins a singularity, not a point but a top, a quantum engine of pure angular frequency. Its spin projects a quantum state vector, a ray of light tracing across the interior. This projection describes how far it moves compared to each axis. Compared to the x-axis, it gives one velocity component and to the y-axis another. These comparisons between light and light define velocity because velocity is not just speed, but speed with direction. And here everything is light, the qubit is light, the vector is light, the walls are light. Motion itself is light compared to the speed of light. Every projection is always traveling at that same fundamental speed. But when the direction of that projection shifts, the velocity changes because velocity is defined as speed and direction together. When that projected direction changes from one Planck moment to the next, we have a change in velocity. That change is acceleration and that acceleration encodes curvature. That curvature is gravity. These vectors also encode probability. The likelihood that a qubit collapses into a zero or a one depends on how aligned the spinning vector is with its surface. This is not abstract, it is geometry. It is light using itself as the benchmark for all measurement. Not a ruler but a rhythm, not a shadow but a reflection of the light clock within all things. The projection etched by this singularity is not drawn with a pencil. It is drawn with light using itself as reference, not a shape you can touch, but one you can experience. That shape is space-time itself. As the spin accelerates or shifts, the projection becomes more intricate, no longer just a smooth rotation, but a swirling, wobbling vortex of motion. Like a cur black hole, it twists light into a spiral, encoding both spin and memory. This projection forms a boundary, one not made of matter, but defined by angular frequency. That frequency bounds the integral of its motion, encoding the geometry of the voxel as a stored projection of information. Now imagine a lattice of these voxels, each one a spinning disco ball of light. Each sparkle on its surface reflects a specific angular frequency. The mirrored walls refract and echo the interference patterns of neighboring voxels. Together they form a vast matrix of overlapping projections. Each time a vector spins and projects its state, it sends a ripple of light into the lattice. Each ripple interferes with the projections of the voxels nearby. Where those spinning vectors intersect, they form interference patterns. The resulting harmonics are not chaos, but coherence. Frequencies combine to reveal color. Geometry gives rise to form. Interference defines structure, sensation, memory. The harmonics of these spinning probability amplitudes define the orbitals of the elements. From them emerge the architecture of matter and the experience of being. Every voxel acts as both mirror and projector. Its reflections contain every possible history held within the singularity. All timelines exist in the eternal information field. What you perceive now is the moment aligned with your orientation. You are not made of matter. You are composed of mirrored light, resonating geometry and encoded interference. You do not simply exist in the projection. You are part of the field that makes it real.